And then we're going to run back one more, okay? We're going to go over here. Remember, if the website can't handle the traffic, if it gets so much this, the Reddit hug of death, then we just click until it gives us a character. Regular Isaac to Ubermom. Easy. For me to poop on. I mean, come on. At this point, we got to get a win today, right? <laughs> it has... We're due. Gambler's fallacy, man. While we wait for the bets, let me, let me show you my item page. We are missing... Four, five, six. I think we're missing six items total. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you might say seven, but that's just there's options. So I don't know what these are, but there you go. Yes, the, the goal is Isaac to Ubermom. I can tell you a couple. I've never had... Um, I've never had Death Certificate on a non-challenge run. I've never had Isaac's Tomb. And I've never gotten C-Section, which obviously you need to like spin down into, I think, or use Death Certificate. Um, and Spirit Sword. So there's a few of them right there. All right, we're about to start the run here. We got regular Isaac. Oh, it's so bright. To Uber Mom, which means we're going alt path. The bet has has already taken place. We got 71% belief, 29% doubt, which is honestly a fairly optimistic series of bets considering that the doubters have have paid out heavily today uh why not just use tainted cane to get all the items you need can i get first off i'm pretty sure it's tainted cane if you try to craft an item well, maybe it's only items you don't have unlocked not items you've never taken but uh i if it's an item you don't have unlocked it just gives you a random other item i think but then the can i get an exclamation point uh tainted Kane in chat, which is, uh, this is a, a, a bit of flavor text that says, whenever you say, why don't I play Tainted Kane to do X easier, the answer is because uh, I hate Tainted Kane. Um, and we'll, we'll play as Tainted Kane enough uh, simply by randoming Tainted Kane over the course of this randomizer, I think, so. Yeah, don't even sway, look. I know you watch one Dan Giesling stream, all of a sudden you see someone uh, re-roll an item room and you think they're making a mistake. I marched to the beat of my own drum, okay? Except for all those Tainted Cane runs where I uh, marched to the beat of VIP Daniel's drum. Which was necessary in order for me to escape that with my mentality uh, under control. But apart from that... <laughs> You're missing Death Certificate, C-Section, Salvation, Isaac's Tomb, and Sacred Orb. Really? Salvation? Really? Isn't that... That's the fish, right? Maybe I've, I've had it a couple of times, but it might have just been on, on challenges. Probably just on challenges. Yeah. That makes sense, because I think I just... I, there was like a... A month where all I did was play challenges and... Oh no, there was like a week. It felt like a month sometimes. Red Redemption was almost a month long, so... I did uh, skip Sacred Orb many times as well. Now remember, we gotta go alt path. We don't have to go alt path right out the gates. We could, we could chill for one more floor. There you go. Just keep rolling. You skip Sacred Orb? Are you insane? Look, all the Angel Deal items look the same to me. I don't know why it is, but like, 
there's 15 different swords. There's a bunch of items that basically just look like a large version of the relic. You know, it, it they, they, they gotta guess. I mean, the Bible, I get it, was made in an era where, like, the imagery had to be pretty static because there were only, like, nine things to draw from inspirationally on planet Earth at the time. But, like, we need a, we need to get a little bit more varied in our, in our biblical references, you know? Dun, 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 dun. You're also missing Isaac's heart. Tell me you're a doubter without telling me you're a doubter. Doubter has been discovered. Steven's a great get. We got a little lucky on that one. I do want to go to the curse room, but I also don't want to uh, die. So I'm just playing it by ear for now. Definitely. You know what? You know what you do? You know what you you know what you do here? A little bit of that. Sure. Okay. That's that's not bad. Especially because we have no other options. <laughs> and then, uh, hold on. This is a lucky penny, right? Two lucky pennies? I'm like, you think... Chad, I gotta try, okay? I gotta try. No, no knockback. Okay. It was worth a shot. <laughs> See if maybe we could rattle them around enough that we could get something. All right, shade is like is essentially useless, but cowardice was never an option. Yoink! We go down to the next floor. It would be a great floor for us to get an arcade. We don't go alt path yet because it's scary, and we we'll probably try to go angel deals. It follows great movie though. I couldn't agree more. Let's go. It follows a lot of fun. That's a fun movie. One of one of the the most noteworthy horror films of the past decade, I would say. It's been a good like era for horror, right? Like I mean there's been some garbage, don't get me wrong. I thought karma would hook us up, but um, is that even how karma works? I don't know. This this trinket's only been in the game for five years. Don't breathe is pretty good. It follows is great. Midsummer and Hereditary, of course, are, are classics. Thank you. The Witch. I haven't seen it, but I've I've heard. I don't know if you would call Mandy a a horror movie. I haven't seen it, but I've heard. Green Room. I haven't seen it, but I've heard. I did. You see the trailer for that uh, Numi Rapass A24 film, The Lamb, today? I watched the trailer while I was in the bathroom um, with no sound on, and I was like, I was still creeped out. I was like, yo, what the heck's going on with this, man? That, that scene where the lamb is, is, is walking like a little kid with the pants on and stuff, is walking on his two legs? I was like, oh, man, what the heck's going on with this? Scary. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, apparently Green Knight is really good, too. I don't know. I, well, probably I'll never see a new movie for like the next seven or eight years, so... I'll take. Gonna watch Dune? Yeah, it's... it's uh, I, I will watch any sci-fi. And, this, you know, this is high concept. Uh, Denny Villeneuve is a great director. It's got me excited. That being said, I, I do feel like a poser because I know nothing about uh, Dune at all. Maybe? You know what? Let's, let's learn something here. Let's learn. What does karma do? Donating to a donation machine has a, a chance to heal Isaac for a full red heart or spawn a key beggar. I've been under the impression that this does something different for literally five or six years. I have been uh, 
<laughs> been under the impression that it doubles your... Uh, it, it gives you a chance to double a consumable when you use it. Like, if you use a card, you might keep it. I was incorrect. I'm no longer afraid to check the wiki. It's true. So here's what you do. I don't know what a chance is, by the way, Luke. That's Endless Nameless. There we go. Endless Nameless. My hat is like a shark's fin. Chad, who do you think is the best verse on the Craig Mack song, Flava in Your Ear? There's some, I mean, you know, it starts with Notorious B.I.G. He's got a great verse. I get more butt than an ashtray. Um, then it's Craig Mack. Then it's, um, I think it's LL Cool J after that. And then it's Busta Rhymes at the end. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good rappers on that. It's a good trinket, I'm realizing now. This doubters are in shambles. Also probably like bored to tears. <laughs> They're like, please fight some enemies. And I'm like, nah. Absolutely not. Under no circumstances. Let's give you one of these. Ooh. <laughs> what? I'm mad, man. I'm mad. I can't believe it broke so soon. Come on, you gotta pay out. You gotta, you owe me. Let's make the same mistake as last time. And remember, you gotta save a key, and it's been a bit. You gotta go alt. You gotta go alt path on this one. Occasionally, gotta remind myself. We gotta go alt path on this one. We're not sweating that yet. I'm getting like heavy. Heavy spice vibes here. Like, I'm even, I'm going in here, man. I love a tainted card. Please, not tainted stars. No, man. Give me tainted lovers. Magician is wait, dude. Platinum, a Luke. Can we give an easy clap hand to a Luke here? Gives you a blue aura that repels projectiles for 60 seconds. A Luke, like, this is such a good resource. And, you know, the fact that you don't have to, uh, scrounge for stuff is incredible. The fact that there's not 17 uh, built-in, you know, inline advertisements and stuff like that. Also pretty sick. Much appreciated. I do kind of want uh, jumper cables, but... Yeah, hey, Luke, if you if you put ads on this thing, I mean, at this point, I'm pretty sure you would would have made enough advertising revenue just off me alone to like. I mean, I don't want to gas you up too much, but you could probably buy a couple of ice cream sandwiches with the state of online advertising right now. So I, I do appreciate your sacrifice. The labor is one thing. Like the labor, it's free. But not having advertisements, that's the real sacrifice right there. You can tell I'm twisted right now, because I'm trying to use shade to put myself in a position to deal some damage to the enemy. <laughs> that's not very common. Owns. Okay. We're not going to peep the deal with the devil. Yeah, we're going to go deals with the angel. We can, we, can make a, we can make it work. We can make it work. Um... Is re-rollable. No rag rats. I'm alt path. Alt path. I got it locked up in the old cerebellum. This is our secret room. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll wait on that one for a second. Oh, hello, baby. Hello. Ah. Whoa. Look at this. We got double trouble cuteness popping in. Mm. Hey. She's disappeared. <gasps> Hello, baby. Moo. How? 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 
The cow lets out a dreamy This cat. Hi, honey. Can't let the cat get in the cords. See you soon. See you soon. She's waving. Oh, goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's waving now. Um, hold on. You know what we gotta do? I, I did this wrong. We're not You can't double play these anymore. So you pop your temperance card right here. And you go to the alt path. I'm not mad that it wasn't a secret room. And I'm not mad... Uh... That we didn't get... Or we only got a single penny out of uh, the Temperance card. I'm mad that both of those took place. The fact that both of those took place is what has me freaking zooted off the acetylcholine right now. Fair enough. What what a shot! What a shot! It's all right. They got ball players. I came back to 1.2 million channel points. What the heck happened? How did he lose that Apollyon run? Look, you can you can be rich or you can be gracious, okay? There's they're mutually exclusive. You can't have both. <laughs> so I understand. Dude, we could definitely take a a dub here. Don't forget, you gotta get the knife piece. You gotta get the knife piece. By the way, I think you might be a little frightened right now if you're a believer. And I'm not gonna tell you you shouldn't be, because I have been also, you know, a part of the runs that we've seen here. All I'm gonna say is I think that the rumors of my death are greatly exaggerated right now. Greatly exaggerated. It looks worse than it is just because we gave up all our red hearts and didn't get anything out of it. We got a lot. We got, you know, infinite range, piercing shots. We have D6 plus battery. We've got angel deal chances manifesting very soon. There's no such thing as a coincidence. We got a lot of good stuff. We got two of diamonds, which is a lot of money potential, especially if we get another temperance card or a blood bank at some point. Like, we're, we're looking okay. We have to go through the alt path as Isaac, so it's it's not easy. By the way, again, I know we've been dishing out a lot of easy claps so far, but easy clap to TRPG for creating the character randomizer as well. It wasn't made for me, so it's not like, you know, I, I, I played no role in it whatsoever, but it's a great tool just to mix it up so you're not always going in the same direction every single time. I think it's a, it's a nice positive for sure. Yeah, spirit hearts. As, by the way, can I just tell you? That's not what I thought that did. <laughs> Worth it, I'd say, for the two of diamonds payout here. Save your bombs. We don't have to. We don't have to. But we're gonna. It's the wafer on the Uber mom fight. Put the little wafer in your ear. Time for some new wafer in your ear. Look at that. That one's for the believers. Good shot. <laughs> Very good shot. We, we hodl this bomb. At some point, we'll get a tinted rock. It'll probably pay out with like a bomb and a key. Yeah, I, I haven't, like, I know it alienates people when I talk about sport, so I try not to do it that often. Um, we'll, we'll get the key piece, the, the key piece, um, knife piece. Um, 
goodbye. I'm leaving. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to talk about hockey for two seconds. It is crazy um, that Vegas... I mean, I understand it's for salary cap reasons, but traded, traded the reigning award winner for best goalie in the uh, National Hockey League for essentially nothing. Uh, just to get some salary cap relief. But also, I'm so... Like, I already know that Vegas is like... Is, they're going to be fine, right? They do the same thing... Or they've done the same thing before, and it always pisses me off. But it uh, it always works, you know. They had they had Coach uh, Galant. They fired him. People were like, "How could you fire this guy? You're first in the division." Hired Peter DeBoer. Freaking just tore it up, right? Like it's uh, even when they make decisions that seem like they're not. Uh, Loyal or whatever, it's still, you know, they treat it like a business and it seems to work. My roommates are Bruins and Blackhawks fans. What team should I stay in to make them despise me? First off, where do you live? Like, not specifically, but... Because <laughs> I, I can't help but notice that your roommates are both fans of uh, teams that were unbelievably successful uh, over the course of the previous decade, despite not being geographically close to one another. Maybe you have roommates who came from Massachusetts and Illinois, and you live in California or something like that. Or maybe uh, you live in Wisconsin, and they just decided to root for a team that's good, in which case you already own them because they are uh, bandwagoners. Okay, we're, we're going down here. Are we going? I mean, we don't have to, but you know what? Let's, let's do it. I'm going to do it just to keep my uh, APM high. It is tough, though. You can't really, like, here's the thing. The Bruins' number one rivals, you know, the Canadians, even though that rivalry's kind of gone by the wayside a little bit, um, and, the, you know, the Leafs to some extent, like, the Bruins have just been better. Like, the Canucks hate the Bruins, but at the same time, the Bruins have just been better than us. So, like, what do you, what do you, what can you do? Okay. Um, I just, I would like, just like this, please. Thank you. Similarly, like, I don't know if the Blackhawks, like, really hate any team. Like, I feel like when you have a great run and you win three Stanley Cups in a decade, you're like, you know, a lot of the rivalries. I guess they hate the Blues, but apart from that, I'm like, you know, winning solves a lot of resentment, I think. Well, uh, at some point we might fight some enemies, but not yet, apparently. We hate Nashville. I can understand. Stupid, sexy mustard jerseys. Anyway, that's sport. <laughs> that's that's our sport talk today. I did follow a, a Twitter account. I don't I don't really watch baseball at all, but I did follow a Twitter account that's called like Umps Securing Dubs or something like that. You know what? Let's let's learn something. I don't even know what to look for for this trinket, but I can, I'm sure I can find it. Active items will be re-rolled upon using them. No, I would prefer not to. Seems kind of omega bad for me right now. I'm sure there's some situations. Eee. Why am I dodging in like the worst way possible? I used two of diamonds out of panic accidentally. Anyway, the the account was like umpires securing dubs or something like that. And it's it's all just videos of uh, umpires calling pitches wrong on the final pitch of an at-bat. So it goes like... Uh, you know, it's either a, a, a clear ball... Uh-oh that gets called a strike for a strikeout, or it's a clear strike that gets called a ball for a walk, and it's it's always great. It's just fun to watch. Well, careful, careful. And they have a lot of fodder. They're, they post like like six or seven times a day, I think. It's, it's pretty, we're getting our asses beat, man. What the heck?
We don't need the D6 um, to have the nine and a, for the four and a half volt. It has no reason for that to exist. So we roll. Uh, I think you just start with a nine volt. And then it gives you the charge. And then you get the humbling bundle, which is beautiful. And now we're, we're looking right as rain, man. Why would you trade a bomb for a key in that situation? It's an interesting question. You know what, though? That's our secret room. <laughs> Any room! Okay, that's there's some value there, man. There is some value there. Did you see the new sub pricing on Twitch? I did, and I mean, as I'm sure you know, like, it pisses me off. Because, like, I already thought you were getting a huge bargain at $5 American for getting access to, like, all this, like, super cool stuff, like emotes and, uh, when I get salty, you can still talk in chat. Like, it's, it's insane to me that they thought they had to make it, you know, more amenable to local prices, but... So all, I mean, I like. I mean, am I pissed off? Yeah, I'm pissed off. Okay, am I upset? I'm, I'm mad. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty mad about it. All I ask is that if you live in a country where you know your sub price got smaller, if you don't want to steal from me, just get tier three. Okay. Otherwise, you're you're taking money uh, from me, and I also have a child now, which means I get to do the thing that people do, where they go, "You're taking." food out of my child's mouth? How dare you? No angel deal, huh? Uh, and, and no, I think it's good. Like, I always heard, like, in, in Turkey or something like that, it was, uh... I'm just gonna take. In, in Turkey, is something ridiculous, like... You pay, like, $12, or the equivalent of $12 for a Tier 1 subscription, which is crazy so i think it makes a lot more sense although i did hear yeah in denmark the price went up which is so funny <laughs> uh, but you know you're you're probably like oh pickle down economics thank you thank you you're probably used to it in denmark right because like isn't a beer like 15 dollars usd but thank you uh pickle down economics thank you Oh, he can't pick it up. If that had killed us, I would have been modestly perturbed. But it didn't. That would be lovely. Oh, dude, we got the wafer effect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, doubters in shambles, man. Doubters in shambles. Maybe. Okay, don't don't get too cocky. It'd be a very funny thing to lose at this point. You can buy cheap beer in Denmark for 25 cents a beer? No. Doubters in shambles, by the way. I bet we're also gonna get an item we've never had before. It it feels like that kind of run right now. 25 cents a can? That seems, um... Forgive me for being a little puritanical. That seems kind of bad. Like, that seems too, um... Cheap. You could buy eight beers for two dollars? Maybe it's fine. <laughs> I don't know, it's just... I think that a beer should be five thousand dollars. I ammo. Yep, a couple of items you've never seen before. <laughs> Great rerolls, by the way. Um, just beautiful rerolls. Monstro's pool or Monstro's tooth? Monstro's pool. That sounds nice. Soju's a dollar in Korea. Yeah, that's why I like living there. Cut. Probably like four years off my life. I only lived there for 13 months. 
There's a battery on the map, too. Bro, come on. Come on, bro. Are you kidding me? I think that might also be why the... Oh, okay, well. That might also be why the oldest uh, expat that I ever saw in Korea was like 52 years old. I feel like you, if you live the ESL teacher's lifestyle, like, you're, you're not making it to 60. You would see people that were like 50 years old and you'd be like, oh my god, it's like, you're a legend. Well... Well, on the bright side, we did get a shot speed up. I'm leaving, man. Forget the secret rooms, dude. I'm leaving. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just making sure that I wasn't gonna screw up the pathing here. I know it's very important. I mean, are you seeing these dodges, man? Like, we... <laughs> I'm really doing my part. <laughs> On a YouTube run, I think, honestly, I probably would have just... Uh, I would have just taken the hit there. On this run, though, I'm taking it mighty seriously. Bottled water is like 20 cents in Turkey. You know what I've come to realize is uh, people in Vancouver complain about the price of everything, which makes sense because it's expensive. You come to realize, like, over time, you know, the, the cost of living is higher in some areas than in other areas for a variety of different reasons, either, like, access or desirability. But every place also has some stuff that's cheaper than it is elsewhere. You know, it's like a grass is always greener situation, I think. I do kind of like it, but let's, let's fish a little harder. Like, in Vancouver, we overpay for a lot of stuff, or we pay a lot for a lot of stuff. But our utilities are, like, insanely cheap. Whenever I tell people that, like, you know, we live in a, a reasonable-sized domicile, and uh, all of our utilities, like water, heat, electricity, is about 100 bucks, maybe 120 bucks a month in the summertime when we got our AC going. People are like, what the hell? That's crazy. That's so cheap. People in Ontario are like, I pay $400 a month in the wintertime. <laughs> yeah, it's because all the houses were built in, you know, like 1904. Everyone's like, look at this place. They don't build them like they used to. It's got good bones. And then they move in in the wintertime. It gets to be minus 40. And they got, you know, all their heat is leaking out through the windows. And they're like, oh, crap. Oh, also all the corruption in the power industry, I suppose. But, like, ignoring that. Not that notwithstanding. He's trapped. He's not... I'm not locked in here with me. He's locked in here with me. Yo, good fight, though. I'm trapped. He's trapped. He, he's not trapped. He's dead. Okay, this is good. You take this. You know what? Why don't you just go ahead? Don't don't take that other one yet. Not good enough. Don't forget knife piece. That was a very clutch mention there. Thank you. I will not forget the knife piece. Also, I mean, there's not much in Vancouver. You do pay a lot for a lot of stuff, don't get me wrong. But property tax is really cheap relative to the rest of the country. And that's really good. And good sushi, really cheap. The, the price you would pay for crap sushi in like other parts of the, the country, you can get pretty good sushi in Vancouver, you know, maybe like for 12 to 15 Canadian dollars per person. So there's, there's a lot of... There's a lot of expensive stuff. There's some stuff that's a little bit cheaper. Maple syrup is cheaper in Canada than in the US. 
I mean, uh, the only reason that surprises me is because everybody seems to be surprised by the exorbitant cost of maple syrup in, uh, in, uh, Canada. Like, people always expect that it's going to be super cheap because we make a lot of it. Um, but it's, it's, it's pricey up here, too. And unlike Parmesan cheese, it's expensive, but it doesn't last that long. Craft beer is cheaper in Canada? You think so? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's, it, again, grass is greener or less green, depending on your perspective, right? Like, craft beer, I honestly don't know. It might be cheaper. I haven't bought much craft beer in the United States. But alcohol in general is just, like, it's so unbelievably cheap in the U.S. Anytime we've crossed the border and, like, stopped at the gas stations in Blaine, Washington or something like that. I always, I, like, I feel like I've stepped into a time machine. They're like, you can get 40 Budweiser's for, like, $18. And I'm like, those are... <laughs> those are 5.5%, you, you psycho. Eh, 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 ooh. And even then, that's in Washington State, man. I think Washington State is a on the pricier end of American states. Wow, they give you $18 for 40 Budweiser's? Hey man, Budweiser, like, you know, it's not great, okay? But it at least is better than Bud Light. At least it's not the worst beer on the planet. Go ahead. Yoink. I don't know if we need this. You could just get a 32 pack of Kirkland. I then I would have to get a Costco membership though. And I, I gotta tell you, I am still not even with a with a child, I am not sure that Costco I, I like Costco. I love being in the store. I like eating the samples when I get it when there's nobody else lining up for them. And I just find it like it's a pleasant store to be in. They got a great food court, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anytime I go to a Costco, though, I'm like, it's not worth my time to be here. Like I usually, I just walk around. Do we know these? We don't. I walk around and go like, oh, you know what? We need garbage bags. But then I look at the garbage bags, and it's like, you know, you can only buy like four bags of garbage bags. And I'm like, well, I don't want that many. So I just. Uh, Bit, bit risky, but I think that's for the best. I'm like, I don't have the kind of space for that in my house right now, so so instead I just say no. We, we don't have that kind of storage, man. Hold on, there was a knock at the door, but I need to focus for alt path. Then only buy two? They don't come in the two packs, man. They come in the... It's like they shrink wrap the four pack. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but... It's not the police. <laughs> I can't store these, but you got 10 cases of LaCroix. I literally don't have 10 cases of LaCroix. I buy one, I uh, drink it in two days, and then I go to the grocery store again because I got nothing else to do right now. Otherwise, I'd be buying them in bulk for sure. I'd still probably be going to the grocery store every day, but... No, I have I have less than one case of LaCroix. I got I've got like half a pack sitting in the fridge. That's it, man. You don't know me. Hey, you gotta make sacrifices as a property owner here. Didn't you read that one yesterday about the girl whose husband was also her tenant? I am trapped. I have a chariot card. I should have used it. Now it's too late. I'll just take a bunch of damage with the sunk cost fallacy. Mausoleum 1. Hold on. Eh, no, 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 no. Why not Bubbly or Spark Mouth? Okay, so I've decided... You know, earlier I said, like, I think people need to take an economics course. Some people also need to take, um, like, one less economics course. Some, I, I'm not a, a rational consumer in all situations. 
You know, I, I don't... When I see something in the grocery store, I don't always, like, comparison shop to find the... You know, it, is there another one that's maybe a little cheaper? Is there another one that maybe I like the flavor of more? Sometimes I'm just walking by, and I'm, I go, ooh, you know, LaCroix, and I just pick it up because it's there. Sometimes, like, I, I comparison shopped for pesto yesterday. I did. Because I, I finally found the pesto after, like, you know, uh, maybe 25 minutes of looking for it. I didn't know. I was like, is the pesto going to be with the fermented foods? Is it going to be with the olives? Is it going to be with the pastas that are in the fridge? Is it going to be with the marinara sauces? I, I couldn't find it, right? Eventually, it was, it was near the pasta sauces, just for the record. Anyway, um, long story short. I found the pesto, and then there was, like, a little bit... It was all messed up, right? Because there was, like, some pesto. But then someone had moved the jar into a different place. So I didn't know if this was the one that was actually $3.99 or if this... Because it was kind of in, like, a fancy bottle. So I had to do some... Uh, I had to do some due diligence. But I eventually got it sorted out. So, you know, thoughts, thoughts and prayers. Thank you so much. It was it was an ordeal though. I know pesto is not fermented, by the way, but I would have assumed that there was a chance, not a guarantee, but mayhaps a chance that it was in the same section as like the artichoke carts and the uh, you know the marinated olives and stuff like that because it, it basically I thought it was in the section for Canadians who wish they were born in Italy I'm sure that they, they have that section in American grocery stores as well you know like 20% of the grocery store is like do you wish you were born in Italy there's a lot of stuff in here that would really tickle your fancy I'd like to see a blood bank there is not one. There is an arcade, but there is not a blood bank. That was me trying to find chimichurri. Yeah, I don't know. At that point, I think I would just give up, man. I don't even know where I'd look for chimichurri. I I, I feel like I got a pretty good grocery IQ for the record. I, I still, at this point, I don't, I don't know where I would look for it. Sometimes it shows up in like the foreign food section. Which is, uh, th that moniker is doing a lot of heavy lifting. Sometimes it shows up in jarred foods. I'm sure, which might be near canned foods. I don't know, it could be near the salsa. Sometimes they'll set up, like, a bespoke barbecue feature where it's like, hey, here's some, like, ribs, and also here's the things you might get to go on the ribs or something like that. I'm a genius. Yeah, an end cap display, which is usually where I buy my sparkling water. That's how they got me on that Pyrus booty train, too, man. Oh, that's a great get right there. I got end capped by some Pyrus booty, and now, like, every once in a while, I'm just like, I'm all in on that, man. I try not to buy it, because it's bad for you. Well, I mean, it's, it's better for you than other snacks, but worse for you than, you know, not eating it. <laughs> It's going to pay out, Copium. Bit of a long one today, huh? Bit of, bit of a long one. That's okay. I haven't even gone to the bathroom yet. What's up with that? Really? Smart food schmacks? I, I, I like smart. I probably haven't had smart food in, I don't know, close to like 10 years. May longer, I would imagine. I th that was like the snack that you got in like eighth grade when you didn't care about the fact that your hands would be all like sticky and weird for the rest of the day. That's a pre-pandemic snack. You're like munching the, the white cheddar off of your fingers. It's like a, it's a little gross, but also a little pog. You know what? What is smart food? Um, it's uh, probably the worst named. Of all of the snacks. It is a brand of popped popcorn. 
plus 1.8% chance of a deal with the Angel. That's so good, but it, it paid out. Um, it is a... Uh, it's a white cheddar pre-popped popcorn. Full stop. It's pretty good, don't get me wrong. But then the kernels get stuck in your teeth a little bit. What is this? Do we know this? Yera rune? Definitely could have used that a little bit better. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm just thinking. We got a 19.9% angel deal chance. Okay, so here's, here's what you do. Now, I've gotten myself... Let's start playing Isaac again. We had a good time. We're going to try to get the angel deal. Or the devil deal, for that matter. We're going to fight the boss. We're going to see what the heck we get out of it. Um, when, what the, I forgot you have attacks. <laughs> when all that's done, we can then leave the floor and, and start to give the believers something to sing about. Hey, hey, you took my familiars. Not leech. Okay. She did make an R2-D2 noise. Noise. We're not capped. I'm not capped. I'm not capped. We will re-roll this. We will re-roll this. We will take this. I'm going to become the Joker. I might be the smartest gamer on the planet. That was some high-octane gameplay right there. Bomb the skull. Mmm... I'm afraid I can't let me do that. We're good. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Believers? Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna maintain No. It's too late. There's no reason to maintain at this point. We're not gonna get more angel deals. So I think you should just take bloody gusts and then live your life. Did we not have rocket bombs? Have I... Why, why was my bomb not a rocket bomb? Because you stood still? That's how that works? I had no idea. Always has been? Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I assumed, because they never patched this game anyway, as clearly uh, emphasized by the number of soft locks that still exist. But any day now, man, any day now, Birthright's going to work for uh, more than one-third of the characters in the game. Anyway, um... Don't touch me. I love the idea. Dude, now that I'm on the other side of it, I can make fun of the people who are waiti waiting for the Tainted Lazarus uh, buff. Any day now. They will buff... What the? They will buff Tainted Lazarus any day now, Copium. What the? Forget Plan C, man. I don't live my life like that. Nor like this, but hold on a second. Portals. Now you're thinking with portals. Not not a new item, but King Baby is Pog now. All right, I forgot I gotta unlearn my muscle memory because King Baby now it makes a little brim fire uh, every time it's ready to go, right? Like, that's pretty good. Maybe only when there's enemies on the room? And homing! What? Jeez. Look at that. I think that's worth it. Not homing? Okay, well, you know. I take my G's back. <laughs> Still pretty good, but it, I mean, is it G's worthy? I don't know. What? It just homed, you liars! Well, kind of, it, it aims. Homing is maybe a misnomer, but. 
You know what? I deserve that. I was gonna Yara this, but... You know the part where I was I said, you know what? That was me about to Yara it? I'm, I'm very glad that I didn't. I am the points. You got nothing, bro. You got, you got nothing to fear. I'm not here. We're here for the bank's points, not your points. Hold on. Is this is this where we get soft locked? <laughs> we gotta be careful on this one. Don't use. Okay, fair enough. It's it's better not to use it. This is not the room you want to see when you got good damage. Never mind. I have found a secret room. Wait, that is not... I, this item does not do what I thought it did. Dangerous battery. It will be a womb boss that could soft lock you. Okay, good, good to know. What did you think it did? I thought it was the item that gave us... Portals uh, at the start of every floor. And we could choose to either go to like the secret room, the boss room, or the item room. Come on, man. Don't, hey, don't get the believers started, man. They're very skittish right now. It's a good chance to get some secret room items here. There's a tinted rock on your hair in-game. You know what? Took me a second to parse that. I do see that we have an X on our head. Point taken. <laughs> Yo, that's kind of sick. Although there's nowhere for us to use it, really. Come on. I mean, you should pay out by now. Devil deals cost money. It's too late for that to be good. I am all. It's too late for it to be good. So, instead... Hold on a moment. We, we got plays. We're going to get the judgment to pay out and then do a super reroll. If necessary. Definitely should have gotten the bombs out of that first. Bro, you're, you're going to make me do some nasty things to my donation machine? I don't even know what it's at. It just has a six in the middle, man. It's been a long run, too. We've really... We're giving it our all. Okay, this is a reroll. It's pretty good, honestly. Now, I think we, we definitely want Odd Mushroom, but let's just see anyway. Oh, look, it's only new item pedestals. Fair enough. Still good. Is this stalling? No, because unlike stalling, this is actually, like... <laughs> it's a little rude, okay? But unlike stalling, this is actually giving us an advantage. It is not merely farming for farming's sake. Stalling is when, you know, you spend 15 minutes because your goal is to fill the room with pennies and then not even pick them up. We're out here. This is just called The Game. And hate it or love it, the believers are on top. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I know that there was the ultra secret room. I just don't know how we could have possibly gotten to it. Could you? Thank you. Uh, it doesn't matter what we take, so give me one of these. Cracked orb, take damage, walk into it. I'll take your word for it. It's funny, because, like, sulfur is really good. But we could also just take binge eater. And then we pay one HP for one HP, but it gives us a stat bonus. <laughs> Which, I, I actually think Sulfur is probably, like, up there with the best spacebar items in the game, but that was just funny. And 
You know, I like to make the world laugh. I think I, we're, we're healing the world through comedy. Another judgment. Okay. Here we go again. Nature's returning. Nature is healing. I'm not even looking at the screen. Like, at this point, the game plays itself, man. I don't read the script. The script reads me. Good, sh good shot. You know what? Good shot. This is why I kept Ace of Hearts. You never know when you might need it. I would be a little bit more doubt inclined here, except I think it is important to remember that we still have the wafer effect once we get hit once on Ubermom. Really smart damage there, by the way. Um, which means I don't think we should really be that scared. Her name is just Mother? Mm, actually, her name is uh, Ubermom. Dot SPF in the game files. And uh, I hate to break it to you. She's just a bunch of ones and zeros. She wants my respect. She could resign right when we walk in. Take it back. <laughs> Take it back. Um, check, get over. She's not even, like, a good mom or whatever. I don't know. I don't really follow the lore. Kind of seems like she sucks. Like, she's trying to kill her, kill her kid. Am I right or am I wrong? That's the lore. Yeah, exactly. I would describe her as not a girl boss. Wait, being, being a girl boss is, like, it's a bad thing now, right? It's always been a bad thing. Uh, tell that to Allie McBeal, sweetheart. That's good enough. For the Zoomers in the audience, uh, Allie McBeal was a very uh, influential show in the very early 2000s that was on, I think it was ABC or Fox, and it was a show about um, a mentally ill lawyer. But she was a lady, so it was groundbreaking. It broke new ground. It did revive uh, Iron Man's career. This is before he was Iron Man, obviously. It, it, it revived uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s career. It was also, um, I believe it was Lucy Liu's big break, if I remember correctly. It also starred, I believe, Lara Flynn Boyle, who went on to play the villain in Men in Black 2, which was a, a pretty pivotal role in cinema history. <laughs> oh, she's... I didn't know she was in Twin Peaks, man. I didn't know that. Didn't she win American Idol? That's Susan Boyle. And I don't think she won... Britain's Got Talent, but she did make us all ashamed of our words and our deeds. Good trinket. You know what? It's a good time. I, I, we're almost at the end of the run. Don't be lazy. Look at the trinket. Grants you a familiar that follows your movements. It shoots spectral tears. When you place a bomb, the found soul will drop one too. If it takes any damage, it will die and not respawn to the next floor. It seems kind of uh, not that good, but maybe better than karma. This one is so long, I don't even remember where we're going anymore. <laughs> I mean, it has been a 51 minute long run. It's a bit of a long one.
Double rocket bomb's kind of interesting. Double, double damage till it dies? I mean, does it do as much damage as we do? Because if so, that's a good point. I did say Dumble. Look, I've been talking for two hours and 20 minutes. Now you haven't even gone to the bathroom yet. Breach is heavy with my own piss and all that. We're doing a pretty good job, I'd say, when, when you consider those circumstances. King Baby was such a good pickup. That, that was extremely clutch. Okay, by the way, it's dead instantly. <laughs> I, you know what that means? That's just a good license to replace this trinket. Our, oh, that, that sucked. Our own damage kind of whack, huh? As Shib would say. No, we don't use Ace of Hearts yet. You gotta, you gotta, you, there's a whole hierarchy of needs associated with this. You either wait for a large room when your HP gets very low, or you save it for the boss. The boss tries to own you by spawning a bunch of those little babies. You pop in there and say, not so fast. You hit him with an Ace of Hearts. You get like 17 hearts and you win easily as a result. Thank you, soul. Thank you. This is full health anyway. Thank you, Placenta. <laughs> I don't think that was... Oh, thank you, Leech. Thank you, Leech, I mean to say. I just found those enemies annoying. Uh, we should probably go to full HP if we can, because we have the wafer effect anyway. And I, I think they're toasted, man. Easy wins, maybe. Checking, just checking. What are you and Dan playing tomorrow? I still have no idea. Every week we tell ourselves like we're gonna like come up with an awesome idea for Wednesday, and then we don't, and then we're like you want to just play some Isaac? And we're like, yeah, you know, it's a good compromise. Don't get me wrong. But uh, <laughs> still, I'm like, at some point, I know that we got some we got some good stuff in the in the hopper. If we could just come up with it. Yeah, it definitely won't be Tarkov. This is pure laziness, by the way, but there we go. Okay, DPS is out of control here. All right, now we win, hopefully. Why not go into the curse room? As I told you, I hate Tainted Cane. Okay, like get over it. He's a stinky character and I don't like him. Duct tape. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> now, just focus. This is like... I, I know what I'm doing on this fight. That almost went wrong, but... Create knives. We dodge said knives. Knife waves have been very easy so far. Very blessed. Very swag. I like it. There's another one. Still... He's not even sending any shots at the bottom. Making it a little too easy on us, honestly. Great work, okay. Mom's throwing. You know what? Mom doesn't respect the doubters. That's what it's all about here. Like, this is PvP right now, and, and honestly, she's not doing her part. I mean, she's doing the attacks that are, like, the easiest ones for us to dodge by far. This is the only spicy attack in the oeuvre. And I'm not talking about a French museum. I 
I mean, this is perfect, man. Doubters, I got some terrible news for you. Let this be a lesson to you. If you YOLO on every single bet, you only gotta lose once. Yawn, yawn, just a nearly frame perfect mom fight. Uh, okay, well, everyone just chill out. It's not over yet, technically. Alright, yeah, we yawn, just a nearly perfect fight. <laughs> oh, okay, believers, we, we gave you something to believe in this time. We took 5.8 million points away from the doubters. What are you drawing? We don't watch this ending. Choose outcome. Yes! I have accomplished my objective this run. The points have been redistributed. We're going to run some ads while I get Pogo stuck ready to go here. If you don't want to see advertisements or you just want to show your support, click the like button. If you're on YouTube.